One relationship killer is pride. Mm. Let's get into this. We are talking all about pride. Pride in a good way, but pride also in a bad way, specifically related to relationships. Mm -hmm. Now, pride is a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. When we're talking about pride, you have pride in your country, pride mm -hmm. in your relationship, pride in yourself, pride in your children, your pride faith. in your family, your faith. Work. Pride mm -hmm. is a good thing mm -hmm. in most cases. Mm -hmm. Now, where it gets a little dicey, where it gets a little tricky, definitely within relationships, is pride that's connected to your ego. Ooh. I'm going to say that again. Pride that's connected to your ego mm -hmm. is usually that pride that can get in the way and really put a, a damper on relationships and mm -hmm. can ruin relationships. Yeah. It can really be a killer. Sometimes it could be refusing to apologize. Oh, yeah. that That is a big one. I think I that think is that one of the major identifiers mm -hmm. of your ego getting in a way. Another um, example can be if, you know, you're unable to see your partner's perspective because you're so kind of like wrapped up in your own way. Right. Um, that can be your ego. If, you know, you know that there are some changes that you need to make, but you're unable to hear that or accept that from your partner or hear it from your partner. Yeah, you're, you're like, it's like you're not able to accept help yeah. or hear criticism or hear Pop criticism and and i think that really can be i mean that's all connected to pride yeah to be honest because if you're not able to take criticism whether it's in a relationship or mm -hmm. just with anybody yeah that is something internally that is connected to pride mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. just that alone can really damage a relationship can mm -hmm. even kill a relationship because yeah. sometimes the pride gets in the way to the point where you guys aren't even on speaking terms or you, you don't want to be the first person to, to talk. To talk. The communication is lacking because of it. It's like, oh, this person did that to me, so um, I'm not going to be the bigger person and try to resolve it. I'm just going to hit them back with the same right. energy or, or be spiteful. Exactly. And mm -hmm. these are some of the things that you want to avoid in your relationship because the more pride that goes in on a day-to-day -day basis, the more that you're going to start to have resentment maybe. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can definitely start to build some resentment, which in turn will make the communication that much more difficult because yeah. you're not even able to come to your partner with a sound mind because you're so clouded by like just pent up feelings and resentment toward, you know, someone's ego getting in the way. Yeah. But I think what is good to also address as well is what are some ways that you can, if you notice early on that your ego is starting to get in the way, what can you do to, to fix that? Well, the thing is, usually when it comes to pride, people are so blinded, so, yeah. so blinded by their pride that they mm -hmm. don't even recognize it and they don't see it. That's so, true. First and foremost, I think you need to humble yourself. You, yeah. you need to humble yourself and say, okay, I can accept criticism. Mm -hmm. I can be wrong sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm not always right. I don't always have the answer. Sometimes mm -hmm. maybe somebody else has better answers or, yeah. or has constructive criticism that really can help me. Mm -hmm. um, Self-reflecting. So I think that that goes hand in hand, being humble and also just kind of like looking back at some, some things or your actions and say, okay, well, maybe my last few relationships didn't quite work out so well. Perhaps I am the common denominator in all of this. What are some things that I can look inward with mm. and say, hey, um, there's some changes that I got to make here because right. I'm realizing that, you know, I could potentially be letting a lot of great people go. And, and that that's connected to just being humble, mm -hmm. just humbling mm -hmm. yourself and saying, mm -hmm. OK, maybe there's something that I can do to yeah. better to better yeah. my relationships and, and better everything going forward. Mm -hmm. And that is a great example mm -hmm. of not letting pride get in your way. Mm -hmm. Once you have self-reflected, reflected, acknowledging and accepting yeah. that you have a pride issue and it's something that you need to work on because you can humble yourself for a second or self-reflect for a second, but if you're not really ready to accept it, right. 
then it's just gonna it's just gonna make it that much more difficult because it's something that you realize is potentially it's it's something that you realize that is a problem and yet you're not willing to to face it and, and work through it right so i like as you said you know being humble self uh doing some self-reflecting and saying yeah. what is going on yeah. like looking inward and then also after you've done those things then to acknowledge and accept you know what the issue is and yeah. that your pride is getting in the way and then working toward correcting that exactly and the tough thing about the pride thing is that yes you can do some self-reflecting within yourself and you can do some self-development but it's hard for you to do that in the other person yeah so yeah both people have to be on board mm -hmm. with humbling themselves and, and not letting pride get in the way yeah but that's very hard if you're the person that sees the pride in your partner, yeah. but they're not willing they're, they to, don't to, see it. They don't yeah. see it or mm -hmm. they're not willing to change because yeah. that pride is just, so, it's just, yeah. So in them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. How, how, how do we fix that? And I, I think it just all goes back to communication, just, mm -hmm. just being, have an open dialogue with your partner and saying, mm -hmm. Hey, you know, in, in a respectful way, you of know, if, if you know pride is, is an issue in your partner, then you need to. You shouldn't you just need come at him like your yeah. ego yeah, yeah. is an issue. Yeah, you need like to, your pride. Yeah, you yeah. might have to treat it treat it a little bit delicately, exactly. and it's exactly. it may not be something that you're excited about or that you should have to do. But if it is a relationship that you want to make work, mm -hmm. um, then give it a try. You know, it is going to take some time, as you said, babe. When someone is so wrapped up in their ego, it is hard for yeah. them to see. That is that it is a problem. Yeah. And so approaching it in a way that is just going to make it that much more difficult for them to see it is not going to help. And another thing, too, um, when it comes to having a open communication about a person's ego and pride. So we said approaching it delicately, but also approaching it with love mm. when they see that it mm. is coming from a place of love because right. you truly want the best for your partner right. and you want the relationship to thrive come at it with love when they see that you have their very best intentions in mind that will definitely help that person get through that we all have a little bit of pride we yeah. all have an ego to a mm -hmm. certain extent you want to address that ego mm -hmm. but you don't want to let that ego mm -hmm. not make you the best version of yourself yes yes Okay, so we really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We hope that you got some good value from this. And really, after this video, let us sink in. Do some self-reflecting mm, and mm. see, hey, is there something that I, is there an area that I can work on? Does my pride or my ego get in the way? Um, so definitely think about that. Right. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. And we don't want to forget our podcast listeners, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got our podcast listeners, too. Continue to tune in. Thank you and for the support. Hopefully you, you, you join on on the YouTube train because there will be some displays that we show up in, in other videos. Mm -hmm. um, but we love the, the podcast subscribers as well. Yep. So continue to stay tuned. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. Enjoy the journey. Bye.